Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. This is part six of Python NumPy tutorial. In this session, we will be discuss about NumPy mathematical operations in greater details. So guys, do you know very well how NumPy is very, very useful for mathematical operations? Okay, so I will give you the lots of example to understand the NumPy in terms of the mathematical operations. So let me go to the Jupyter notebook. So guys, first of all, I need to import the library of NumPy. And guys, before proceeding the mathematical operation, let me tell you one thing. So if I'm using here np.arrange method, and here let's say 50, so I'm going to print this particular number, right? In the same way, if I'm using here np.arrange method, and if I'm going to print, let's say 5,000, see what will happen. So it is giving me a range from 0, 1, 2, and this, 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 and the last three number. In some cases, let's say you want to print all the numbers between 0 to 5000. Okay, then how you can show all the numbers into the Jupyter notebook. So to print the all the number, you need to import the another module, which is sys module. Okay, so this is the Python inbuilt module. Now what you can do, you can use here np.set print options. And here you can use threshold, which is system dot max size, this one. Right now, let me run this. If I'm using here once again np.arrange method and 5000, okay. Now, let me run this. So, now look at this I'm going to print all the numbers between 0 to 5000, right? So, in the same way, in case you want to disable this particular option, yes, you can disable also, okay. So, what you can do so np.set print option and here you can use threshold which is three, okay? So np.a range and here this one, okay? So again, back to normal, okay? Now let me create our array. So np.a range method and here I want 12 element and I'm going to use here reshape, which is four by three, okay? Now let me print my array. So guys, I have this particular array, okay? So guys, now if I want to sum of this array, based on the column okay so how can i do that so simple sum and array look at this so here are six and three nine and plus nine become 18 and four plus one plus seven and ten become 22 and two plus five seven seven plus eight become 15 and 15 plus 11 become 26 okay so by default i'm going to add based on the column in some cases in case you want to add these elements based on the row so what you can do so np.sum and here you can use array and axis equal to one np.sum and array so by default you will get sum of all the element okay in the same way np.sum of array and axis equal to zero okay so you will get the the same answer so guys, if you are using np.sum array and axis equal to zero, it means your data or your element will be add by default, you know, vertically. In the same way, if you are using axis equal to one, it means your array element will be added based on the row or you can say that horizontally, right? So this thing you have to remember. Now, again, let me create a, another array. So np.array. And here I'm going to create some basic element. And this is my the array. In case I want to multiply each element by two. So how can I do that? So simple array multiply by two. Okay. But guys, if you are using the same operation within the list data structure. Okay. So see what will happen. So let me copy this. And LST this one. If I'm using here list multiply by two. See what will happen. So it will repeat your list, okay? How many times? Only two times. Look at this, okay? So this thing you have to remember. You can't perform the arithmetical operation using multiply by two, minus two. In case you are using list minus two, see what will happen. You will have an error. So this kind of operation you can perform only on NumPy array, okay? So this thing you have to remember. So let me print again my array. In case I want to divide this entire array, or you can say that each element of an array by two, so I can use this operation array minus two, array 
plus two. Okay, so we can easily perform mathematical operations. In the same way, let me create a another array. And here, if I'm using here three comma four five six seven eight, if I'm using here mod by three. Okay, so look at this. So this is the particular result. Okay, so modulus operator will give me the remainder. In the same way, this is my the array. In case I want to the power of each number. Okay, so what can I do? Array and two. Look at this. And in the same way, I can add the another array as well. Okay, so let's suppose this is my the array. What I'm doing here? Array plus np dot array. And here I'm using this one. Now let me run this. So I am getting this particular answer. Only one thing you have to remember: your array must be same length. Okay. In case, let's say, if I am going to change the length of this array, so as of now, this array is holding six element, and your existing array is holding only the five element. So the length of array is not same. So we will have an error. Look at this. So value error: operands could not be broadcast together with the shape five and six. So your array size should be same. So now let me remove the eight. Make sense, guys? And in the same way, you can perform some trigonometry operations on array as well. Okay, so let me create array two equal to and p dot array forty five, sixty and ninety. So if I'm using here and p dot sine uh, of array two, and p dot ten, array of two, and p dot cos. So guys, you can use trigonometry operations on array as well. Okay, so this thing you have to remember. Now I am going to tell you the some more useful example based on the array. So let me create a another array which is a equal to and p dot array, and here I want eight, five, seven, ten, and eleven. In the same way, I am going to create another array where I am having three comma four comma two comma six comma eight. Okay. Now let me run this. So guys, what I want here, so np dot add, and here I am using a comma b. See what will happen. Now let me run this. So look at this. So eight plus three become eleven. Five plus four nine. Seven plus two nine. Ten and six become sixteen. And eleven plus eight become nineteen. Okay. And what if if I am going to change the size of this array? Okay, so n p dot add a comma b. So again, as I said, your array length should be same. So this thing you have to remember. Make sense? Okay. In the same way, if I am using here n p dot subtract a comma b, n p dot multiply, you can use a comma b. Okay. So let me print again a and so I have these two array. Okay, so eight multiply by three become twenty four, five multiply by four become twenty, and so on. In the same way, you can multiply these two array directly. So a multiply by b. So I will have the same answer. Okay, so this thing you have to remember. And now I am going to tell you the very important method of NumPy, which is mode and remainder function. Okay. So, numpy mode and remainder function. Okay, so guys, this is my the array, right? And this is my the b. What I'm doing here, np dot remainder, and here I'm using a comma b. Look at this. Okay, so when I'm going to divide, let's say, eight by three, so I will have the remainder two. If I am going to divide five by four, so I will have one, and seven by two, I will have the remainder of one, and so on. Okay. In the same way, I can use the power operation as well. So np dot power a comma b. Okay. So eight to the power three become five hundred twelve. In the same way, five to the power four become six hundred twenty five, and so on. Okay. And in the same way, I can use here np dot Floor divide a comma b. Look at this. 
okay and guys one more thing so let's say print quotient and remainder of a and b okay so let me use a small case and here i am using np dot div mode a comma b now let me run this so look at this so first of all i am having quotient okay and this is the particular remainder so using the single function which is div mode you can find out the quotient and remainder of your array as well so guys i have two array which is a and b this is the result of a array and this is the result of b array okay so when you are using div mode so you will have the floor divide so look at this 2 1 3 1 okay and you will get the mode operator as well which is 2 1 1 4 as we have calculated here so div mode is the combination of flow divide and remainder function okay so this thing you have to remember and guys in the same way you can calculate the some log operations using the numpy as well okay so again this is your array a and here what i am doing np dot log a np dot exponential of a okay so this kind of operation also you can use now i am going to tell you some other useful method let's suppose a equal to np dot array and here i am using 1.24 and let's say 4.167 and any random number i am going to write here okay now what i am doing here np dot round okay i am going to round this particular function this one and here a comma 2 so look at the result so i have 1.24 because i am using here two decimal so 4.17 okay so that will be last element will be increased in the same way 3.96 in the same way what you can do you can use here np dot floor a so guys this result is the floor of this particular number so i will have only the integer number so guys in the same way you can use the seal method as well okay so look at this in the same way i am using here np dot maximum okay and let's say a comma b so guys you can see here again i am getting the error so because my array length is not same okay so your dimension of array should be same so what i am doing i am going to create a uh, another array right now i am using np dot maximum and here a comma b okay so let me print again a and b so this is the maximum array right in the same way np dot minimum and here i can use a comma b right now guys i am going to tell you very important method which is numpy dot method okay so guys numpy dot method is an extremely useful method for computing the product between matrix and vector so look at this i have array a and array b so first of all i have these two array as a scalar so i can have a scalar multiplication in the same way let's say i have 1d array and array b also 1d array so i will have vector dot product okay so i will have the output in terms of the number in the same way 2d array and 1d array then matrix vector product then i have 1d array and 2d array and 2d array b also then i will have matrix to matrix product then i will have the result in terms of 2d array in the same way we can perform n dimensional array n dimensional array so i will say the operation will be batch product so i will have the result in terms of n dimensional array okay so how we can use the dot method so let me tell you so first of all what i am doing np dot and here if i am using 4 comma 9 okay so guys i will have the answer 36 okay in the same way if i am using np dot 2 comma 3 and here 4 comma 5 okay so what will happen so answer i will have 23 okay so now let me tell you so first of all 2 multiply by 4 okay and plus 3 multiply by 5 so first element from each array 
then second element from the array okay in the same way what i'm doing here let's say x equal to np dot array and here two comma three in the same way y equal to np dot array and four comma five if i'm using here np dot x comma y so what will happen so again i will have the same answer look at this okay in the same way if i am using here a equal to np dot array and 3 comma 4 comma 5 b equal to np dot array 7 comma 8 comma 9 if i am using here np dot a comma b okay so look at this so first of all 3 multiply by 7 plus 4 multiply by 8 plus 5 multiply by 9 okay in the same way np dot which is let's say if i'm writing here 2 and 4 comma 5 okay so what would be the answer so the 2 will be multiplied by 4 and 2 multiply by the 5 as well okay so 8 and 10 now let me run this make sense in the same way let me give you another example so np dot array and here 1 comma 2 and 3 comma 4 and y equal to np dot array and here i'm having only two elements five and six okay now what i'm doing so let me enclose into the separate bracket so guys let's say if i'm using here np dot x comma y look at the result i am having 17 and 39 what it means so np let me explain np dot okay First of all, I want one and two. After that, I want five comma six. Look at this. So let me explain print. And here I want one multiply by five plus and two multiply by six. In the same way, print. And here I want three multiply by five plus. 4 multiply by 6 this one so guys this is all about in this session and i hope you can perform lots of operation or lots of mathematical operation using the numpy so do practice of this session as much as you can in case of any question please post your comment thanks for watching and have a great day